For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Dexter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this problem where you have the bridge frame consists of three segments which can be considered pinned at A, D, E, and the rocker supported at C and F, and the roller at B. Determine the horizontal and vertical components of reaction at all these supports due to the loading shown. All right, guys, this is very, very easy. Don't let these uh, problems intimidate you. The first thing I want to do is I want to replace this distributed loading by regular forces. So as you can see, you have a distributed load right here, which I'm going to erase to make this problem look easier. I like doing this because a lot of my students look at this and right away they see lots of members and forces and they get intimidated. So a good technique is to just make this free body diagram look simpler. So it's a rectangular distributed load acting in three segments. So we have a force here, a force here, a force here going, you know, straight down. So let's call this one F1. And I'm going to call this one F2 and this one F3. So all you got to do is find F1, F2 and F3 and this problem becomes much easier. So the first thing you need to understand is that you got to divide this into three segments. You have this segment that goes from B to D. You know that it only has a reaction BY right here. It can only go up and D can go up and have a horizontal one. D, that's a D. DX and dy. You got f1. So let's start. Find f1. f1 is equal to 30 times 2 because the distributed load which I raised was 2 key per, fi per feet. So it's times 2. And that equals 260 keep. That is f1. Now, if you do assuming kind of clockwise is positive, some of the moments at D, you want to pick D because D could have a possible horizontal one, is equal to zero, is equal to F1 times 15 feet, see F1 is turning this sum right here, and it's turning it kind of clockwise, so it's positive, minus BY times 30 feet, which is turning this lever arm clockwise, so it's negative. But you already find F1 on the previous step, just plug it in, solve for BY, and you're going to get that BY is equal to 30 keep. Kilo pounds. Okay. Then, you know, some of the forces in the Y is equal to zero. As you can see, you got BY going up plus DY minus F1 is equal to zero. BY is equal to, I'm sorry. We already got uh, by. I mean, d as in doll y is equal to thirty keep. So you already found this one and that one, and you already found the x too. Some other forces on the x is equal to zero, so the x is equal to zero. There's no other force acting on this member. So you already find dy, bx, and by. Now let me add a new layer, erase, I mean, hide this layer. As you can see, we're dividing this into segments. We worked with this segment that goes from B to D. Now we're going to work with the segment to the right of the assembly. Now, if you look at the segment, we have the reaction dy going up and the there was no horizontal reaction because uh, it was zero. So if it was going up on, on the one on this member, then on this member has to be going down. And this is dy, which we already found to be 30 keep. Just a quick reminder. And let me erase this arrow so you guys don't get confused. All right, so remember, if it was going up on the segment on the left, it reacts down on the segment on the right. That's uh, something important to remember about these problems. So F can only have a vertical reaction and E is pinned, so it can have a vertical and horizontal, EX, EY. And we need to find F2. 
which is uh, the distributed load acting on this side of the assembly. The distributed load acting on this side of the assembly is a rectangular distributed load of two key per foot by a length of 15 feet, so it's two times 15, which is equal to 30 keep. And we got dy already at 30 uh, keep. So as you can guess, we're gonna do the sum of the moments at E is equal to zero. Let's assume kind of clockwise is positive and we get dy times 15 plus f2 times 7.5 f2 is turning this lever arm, dy is turning this lever arm and don't forget fy which is turning this lever arm of a length of <coughs> 5 feet excuse me which is minus fy times 5 we already got dy we found F2 on the previous step. All we're missing is Fy, so some simple algebra. You can solve this yourself, guys. Check your answers and tell me if I'm making mistakes so I can correct them and improve my videos. You're gonna get that Fy is equal to 135 keep. So now you can do some of the forces on the Y is equal to zero, which means that minus dy minus F2 plus EY plus FY is equal to zero. We got DY, we got F2, we got FY, all we're missing is EY. You solve for EY and you're gonna get that EY is equal to negative 75 keep. The fact that it's negative and we drew it going up, all it means is that EY is in reality 75 keep going down, don't freak out. So we gotta correct it on our diagram later, that's no problem. And that's it for the forces of all, all the reaction forces on the member on the far right. All we gotta do now is go to the uh, far left. Now when we go to the far left, I'm gonna draw this reaction AY going down since EY surprised us and it was going down. Oh, before I get ahead of myself, one last thing. You probably figured this out by now, but for those of you who didn't, some of the forces on the x is equal to zero. The only force in the x is ex, so ex is equal to zero. Just for the sake of completion, you know, do everything. Okay, back to the member on the far left. I'm gonna draw a y because a y surprised us and it was going down at the far member on the right. And by symmetry, I'm gonna assume that a is the same thing on the left. Let's assume a x is going to the left. However, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be an AX since there hasn't been any member going to the left or right. Remember, when we were working with the member BD, B, the reaction at B was going up. So in this member, the reaction is going down. That is BY, which we already have at 30 keep, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 30 keep. 30 keep. We found that on, when we were calculating the forces on the first member and see why it's right here. So this problem is symmetrical to the problem on the right. You could just do by symmetry, but I'm gonna go through all the works because I just like to be thorough with my videos. Some people get confused otherwise. So first find F3. Remember three is a distrib rectangular distributed load of over a length of 15 feet with a strength of two key per foot. So Fy is F3 is equal to 2 times 15, which is equal to 30 keep. Now, assuming clockwise is positive, some of the moments at A is equal to 0, we got F3 times 7.5, turning this lever arm clockwise, plus By times 15, turning this lever arm clockwise again, minus CY times five, uh, turning this shorter lever arm with a length of five feet. So we got F3, which is founded. We got BY, we found on the first step when we were working with the first member. CY you can solve with some basic algebra and you get that CY is equal to 135 kilopounds. Damn easy. Sum of the forces on the x is equal to zero. Ax is equal to zero. 
sum of the forces on the y is equal to zero minus a y minus f3 minus b y plus c y you got f3 you got b y you got c y all you're missing is a y solve for a y and you get that a y is equal to 75 keep so that is how you find all the forces on the members now please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help Thank you.